Screen Time, which is news on TV, movies, gaming, culture, and entertainment, they announced that Marvel are reportedly working on a 6v6 Overwatch-style hero shooter game. It suggested that this game could be announced tomorrow. A 6v6 Overwatch-style hero shooter. I think, I think that's a little interesting. Uh, so let's see, let's see. This is a, I don't know, the streamer. I don't know what this website is, but maybe you guys do. Uh, Overwatch style Marvel game coming soon, exclusive. Currently in pre-alpha, the game will be a 6v6 third person shooter. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. This, so this sounded, this sounded really good. This sounded really good until they said third person shooter. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. They need a, thank God it's an alpha. Because they need to scrap that fucking third-person shooter idea and just go with first-person. Stop. Marvel, if you're listening to me, stop. They're not going to listen to me. They're probably going to be like, who the fuck is this kid? Anyways, the Marvel Games universe is about to expand and in a big way. A two-year-old article from Gam Game Rant called for a Marvel shooter in the vein of Overwatch 2, and it seems prayers were answered. After last week's announcement of Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra, we have a new title on the way. Around the same time that an insider, oh, what the f is this, Curacasis? Posted on X, formerly Twitter. By the way, it should be just called Twitter. We don't call it X. X is a stupid ass name that a triple-A multiplayer FPS set in the Marvel Universe game was being worked on, a source reached out to me and gave me details that you won't find anywhere else. So this is... I wonder how this is going to work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're doing it third person because they want to copy... I'm guessing, like, Fortnite, because Fortnite has, like, a really good... Um, they, they, they sell a shit ton of skins, and that you when you buy a skin on a character, I guess they want to show you what the character skin looks like. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it, it, does, it, it does sound pretty cool, chat. Think about it. Captain America as a tank. Hulk probably is a tank. I don't know. That, that actually does seem pretty, pretty interesting. An update on an unannounced Marvel game that I first reported in January titled Marvel Rivals, developed by NetEase Games. Uh, most likely, more below, a triple-A multiplayer FPS set in the Marvel Universe. PC, mobile, and consoles. Announcement this year. Damn, yo, that's actually pretty... NetEase sucks now? I, what, what game does NetEase do? I don't even know any... All I know is... Is it free? I have no idea. Uh, I mean, we have an article here, chat. We're reading the article. It's, we're going to probably get a lot of questions answered. Only 92 likes, though. Not a lot of people seemed interest, interested in it. How many, how many followers does it have? Oh, only 1,000? 2,000? Five? Okay, I can confirm the post above is somewhat accurate, but here are the real details that you need to know. A source provided the streamer with, with screenshots, which I will not share here, of what they described as a 6v6 Overwatch style hero shooter that features, uh, what the fuck is this? Lit, lit any? Lit litany? I've never seen this word in my life. Help! What the fuck is this word? I've never seen this in my life. Okay, a familiar and lesser known Marvel characters. It will be a third person shooter, not a first person one. The screenshots I have seen confirm this yeah i'm a litany uh but anyways this seems like a really cool fucking idea but like i don't think third person's gonna be good yeah i think third person games are l i liked gears as a third hey, nah man like some games are really good at it but Hmm. The name Marvel Rivals was mentioned in the post and a follow-up article by Game Rant, but I can't, uh, can't confirm the name. We'll refer to it as an untitled Marvel game. Uh, it seems uh, it is being developed by NetEase Games, who signed a deal with Marvel in 2019 to develop projects. So far, the two 
they have worked on marvel super war and marvel duel never heard of it chat have you guys heard of this uh while super war and duel are mobile only oh uh, they're i'm pretty sure they're trying to like tap into the mobile market apparently i think okay chat this is gonna sound ridiculous but a few years ago i think i was looking at it and i think um i think the mobile gaming world earns more money than like console and pc put together it's like it's fucking ridiculous yeah so i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that's what you're trying to trying to go after yeah they it's it's all those little micro transactions uh while super war and duel are mobile only this game will be available on pc a much bigger venture for sure and while we can't confirm consoles and mobile. NetEase does have a strong history of mobile titles, and consoles seem like an easy port. But what would this even look like? Aesthetically, I have seen that the game looks similar to Valorant. What? So it's like a 6v6 Overwatch game in third person that looks like Valorant. What characters will appear in the game? Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, Luna Snow. Who the hell's Luna Snow? Punisher, Rocket, Groot, Loki, Spider Man, Hulk, Magic, uh, Magneto, Mantis, Storm, Penny Parker, Black Panther, Star Lord. Was it Namor? Thor? I'm gonna be honest with you. I am not big into Marvel, but uh, yeah. The list is subject to change. There will indeed be skins, but this is an addition. Uh, this is addition is understood uh, to be purely aesthetic. One skin for Iron Man is steampunk. This makes sense because otherwise it would be, it would make the game pay to win. I mean, isn't which isn't fair. I mean, isn't isn't all skins? I mean, isn't all games like that now? When you buy a skin, it you you don't make the character stronger. It just cha changes the. I mean, that's basic knowledge, I feel like. Um, the most overpowered characters at this stage are Storm, Scarlet Witch, Loki, and Namor. Am I even saying that right? Namor? Each character will have their own set of abilities and powers, and most and more will most likely be added. Uh, what will be the untitled Marvel game be like? Details are sparse, but I can confirm exclusively that one mode in the game will be Escort. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to take they're trying to take the concept of Overwatch, put it into a world like Valorant with the art style while taking what makes Fortnite so much money and put it in the third person. I think that's what they're trying to do. Uh where players have a mission to take a convoy to a location where I can't disclose. Okay. While I also exclusively uh, reveal, I can also exclusively reveal that there is a King of the Hill mode in which players will be tasked with a gaining points, presumably by killing enemies and maintaining control over an area. So, Koth. <laughs> you have Escort, which is put, uh, Payload. You have a Koth. For now, these are the only two game modes that will be added further along in development or on the game's life cycle. I'm pretty sure they might add maybe push. They might add hybrid, and they also might Make a 5 CP chat. Who knows? Uh, hopefully, I, I, I'd play this game if they had 2 CP. There will also be map. Uh, there will also be maps. Hope so. I can reveal. I can reveal that one is Odin's Vault. Oh. The other map was a real world city, not New York. Sorry, Avengers Towers hopefuls. And the other map was a named island from the Marvel comics, not the island you're thinking of. I don't know Marvel lore chat, so I'm going to be honest with you. I can't help you guys there. Uh, I, I can also disclose that the environmental destruction is a big part of the game. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. And destroying maps with each character's abilities will feature heavily in the gameplay. Side note, I wonder, that, I wonder how that would work with characters whose abilities are less combative, such as Mantis. Yeah, I don't really know. Who's Mantis chat? Man, Mantis. Oh, it just gave me a praying mantis. Is that what the character is? Mantis Marvel. Oh, that's Mantis from um the bug girl from uh oh. 
now I understand. Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, I thought this was something else. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is like the only thing I watch, which is actually really good. No, also I I watch some other stuff, but anyways. When will the game? Will when the untitled Marvel game be released? At the time of writing, this game is pre-alpha, which is the e earliest stage of development. It will formally go through the alpha, beta, potentially on open beta, release candidate RC, and then gold master GM phases. The GM one is the final one. I never even heard of that. I just heard of alpha and beta, and then release of the game. Uh, lengths of the life cycles of the game can widely vary, uh, can vary widely, sorry, the, the fact is that the game is currently in pre-alpha would indicate that it's at least a year out from release, potentially longer, depending on what the feedback is from those early stages. We expect it to be available for everyone to play around quarter three of 2025. Holy shit, quarter three of 2025. Though I have personally been told that it would probably launch within the next year. Yo, maybe, maybe Overwatch got threatened. Maybe Overwatch got threatened or felt threatened. So they started making the game really great. And that's why they've been updating the game, chat. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you though. I feel like if this, like this game could have probably been really good if it came out during Overwatch 1 when Overwatch wasn't being, um, updated. Like, during that, like, three or two, three, four years that Overwatch wasn't updated because they were working on Overwatch 2, I felt like if this game came out, it could have been, it could have been probably really popular. I don't know about now. We'll see. I don't know. Mm -mm. Are you excited for this upcoming Marvel game? Chat, does it seem interesting to you guys? A 6v6. No, really? A 6v6 marvel game which i'm pretty sure is going to be like what what's what's the six visa i'm pretty sure you're going to be able to pick six or any character from this list or are you going to be able to pick like are they going to like make the characters somewhat to like tanks dps and like healers i wonder also i'm gonna be honest with you third person shooter does not sound like a good idea i'm just saying i don't know maybe maybe it's gonna i don't know i think it's i think it's based on how they do it man i don't know if a, if a marvel game is going to be a big threat to overwatch i actually don't like wasn't there a good wasn't there a game that came out that everyone said overwatch was done for but overwatch was like the the game that over everyone said was the overwatch killer every time they come out with a new game everyone says it's the overwatch killer and they always fucking dies gundam yeah i remember gundam came out and everyone was like oh this game is going to replace overwatch it didn't replace overwatch it just kind of i think didn't gundam shut down its servers I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Gundam shut down its servers, didn't it? Oh. I don't know. Uh every time a game comes out that seems really competitive to Overwatch, it re it doesn't seem to last. Uh Gundam being one of them, I'm gonna be honest with you. Stop, stop saying pal let's, you you guys keep saying paladins. Let's go look. Paladins. Let's go. How many how many Paladins has 659 viewers. Over, yeah, the only thing that's going to kill Overwatch chat is Overwatch itself. I think it's healthy for Overwatch to have competition and to want to be a better game. If you are, if, if Overwatch is the only type of game like that, I feel like they're going to get lazy. They're not going to do as many updates because they think everyone's going to play their game regardless. And they're not going to like, you know what I mean? I feel like they're going to get comfortable. So having competition is going to make them want to come out with fresh ideas. They're going to want to do some more crazy stuff, more collaborations. I think it's healthy for Overwatch in general. But I don't think this game is going to be a really good game. I don't know. And 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 I hate to bring up Fortnite. Like, yeah, Fortnite, I'm going to be honest with you. Fortnite has been such a great game for the past few years. I mean, it's still one of the... Where is it? 77.6k viewers still. There's still a top game, and, and, and it's crazy. League of Legends is still fucking insane. Destiny? What the fuck? Why is Destiny all the way up here? Oh. Oh, oh, they have an update. I was about to say, why the fuck is Destiny all the way up here? Destiny's usually dead. Valorant, I don't know. Dude, Va did you guys see Valorant? I think it's Sent Sentinels, right? Does anyone here follow Valorant chat? Sentinels Grand Final was had the most watched Valorant game of all time. Who cares about that? 
1.7 million viewers for a fucking tournament, bro. I hope, and I hope, please, I hope Valorant, uh, now Overwatch has these numbers when, when, when we're doing like a DreamHack Dallas or DreamHack Stockholm or something, bro. For Overwatch getting a million viewers would be fucking insane. Okay, friends, YouTube thinks you might like this next video, so let me know if they're right.